And this is what uh, Washington is attempting to do. There's, you know, uh, death and destruction goes on, and they're saying, well, we're going to give aid to the people we're condemning. Remember, it's American bombs and bullets which are going to kill these uh, children and innocent uh, civilians as the U.S. drives, I mean, as Israel uh, drives to uh, eradicate Hamas. Um, the U.S. is not saying that it's time to put an end to this. They just keep backing uh, the Israeli position while trying to pretend that they're concerned. But well, U.S. has been backing Israel, of course. And how much influence do you think U.S. have on uh, over Israel? Is the U.S. the only country that can actually uh, initiate a ceasefire? Without U.S. military support, Israel would be forced to seek a non-military solution. Uh, the U.S. Uh, gives um, between 3.5 and 3.8 billion dollars, uh, 98 percent of it for military uh, uh, <clears throat> aid. Uh, you know, and it's frightening. Uh, Doning, Israel's nuclear weapons are a poorly kept secret and an ever-present danger, and this is what we're playing with. This is something where there is no end game. And even the people within Washington are concerned about that, but they won't voice it.